So you've told me a bit about your religion. Let me just tell you a little bit about my religion. I'm not going to go into too much detail. So I'm a Muslim, right? So Muslims believe that basically Islam, by the way, the actual word Islam comes from the Arabic root word istislam. Right? It means submission. It doesn't mean peace. I'll be honest with you. Right? Peace is something which comes afterwards. I don't know where they got it from. It might mean peace, you know, that you acquire through submission. Yeah, from salam. But salam is not where... So Islam comes from istislam, right? Islam means submission. Submission to one God. So our narrative is as follows. We believe that basically the first prophet to ever come on the earth was Adam. And obviously the first messenger to come on the earth was Noah. These people were... Did say Adam alayhi salam? Adam alayhi salam, yeah. So Adam, and Noah, the first messenger was Noah. These individuals were submissive to God. Were submissive to God. So in that capacity, they were Muslim. Because the word Muslim means people that submit to God. So we our narrative is as follows. So you got you got Noah, then you got prophets upon prophets. In fact, there are some weak traditions that say that there's 124,000 prophets, a weak tradition. But still, it's something to bear in, cons into consideration. Lots of prophets came at full time, and these prophets came with the same message. So when it comes to people like Jesus Christ and Moses, and um, you know Abraham, obviously with the Abrahamic religion, one of the Abrahamic religions, we believe that all of them came with the same. A message which was, uh, which was simply to believe in one God and to worship in one God. So it's a very simple message. So, having said that, we believe that actually if you think about Jesus Christ or uh, Moses, they, they actually had revelation from God, that they actually were true prophets from God and that revelation was revealed unto them. Having said that, yeah, so if you look at the Quran today, and you look at like a version of the Bible, say for example, you look into the New International Version or the Revised Standard Version, King James Version, whatever you want, you'll find that there are similarities, like in terms of the stories of the prophets and stuff like that. The reason why we would say that is the case is because we say that the source is the same. The source is God, right? So God revealed it to Moses, God revealed it to Jesus, and God revealed it to Abraham, and therefore God also revealed it to Muhammad, right? The, the main difference is as follows. We believe that Whereas God revealed it to Moses and Jesus and Abraham, they had the full truth, they had the full truth, but then that was corrupted by people that wrote down what would then be called the Bible or something like that. Um, it was corrupted by the, the hands of men, basically. But the reason why there's so much similarity between the Bible and the Quran is because we believe that the Bible and the Quran, eventually it does actually come from the same source. So God is the same, uh, the author of both books. Do you see what I'm saying? Now my question to you is because this is quite interesting. We are talking about similarities between Sikhism and Islam. So we can explain the similarities between Islam and all of the other previous religions by saying that the source is the same, yet there were corruptions that happened and fabrications that happened. That we affirm the prophethood of Jesus and Moses, etc. My question to you is, you don't affirm the prophet of Muhammad, do you? You don't no, 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 no. He's uh, not prophet. Uh, you know, no, no. We, we, what we be believe, that is what I am trying to say, is that uh, when Sikhism came, from Guru Nanak to Guru Gobind Singh Ji, they only preached, they were against the rituals which were done by the people in India and all over the world. That is why Guru Nanak Dev Ji traveled from all over the world, preaching people that the rituals are not part of the religion. So because, because... No, but what, what, what I was just asking you was one specific question, right? So what I was saying is that, you know, in Islam, there are some similarities between Christianity and Islam. Christi Islam and Judaism. We would say that they were true religions, but that they were corrupted. Sikhism says that Prophet Muhammad wasn't a true prophet. Yet, it's striking that there are so many similarities between the GGS and the Quran. Things like the hukum. You believe in the hukum of God, yeah? Yes. Hukum is actually an Arabic word. It's, uh, we say hukum. Hukum, you say is will. We have a different word for it. Uh, uh, yani, but it's the same thing. No, let me, we, let, we believe in so many similarities. No, My question let, is... Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. How people, comes the, how no, come, I, let me I, just ask you the question and then you can answer it. No, so, let me tell you this. How could it be the case that the guru has so much of the contents of the Quran, yet he's giving no credit whatsoever to the Prophet of Islam? So it's almost as if it's saying, okay, all of what the Prophet Muhammad said, although he didn't get any revelation, was coincidentally true. That's a very, very hard proposition to make, or very hard. Can you see what I mean? Not, not at all. I think, I think, uh, be a peep, uh, you know, uh, you're not trying to understand what, uh, or you, uh, you're not aware about uh, Sikhism. That, as I told you, that all our gurus were against the rituals which were performed by 
the different religion at that time maybe hindu hindus or any other religion which was so why is it that what, you do what, the same ones then reply, sorry reply. sorry go ahead yeah, yeah. why is it that hindu like so sikhs do the same rituals though no they pray the same way very similar you chant your holy book no, like no, which we, we recite is, our book no no what i'm saying is you do rituals, do you do ablution before you go no, to your no, holy place i'm not places. talking about the is, islam you do the same i'm rituals. not talking about the islam i'm talking about the other religion like hindu religion yeah. and the other religions which were prevailing in india that you know in that time at that time there's so much mention of hinduism in in sikh in sikh literature though why people are uh, trying to uh, you know complicate the thing uh, more is that gurus were never against islam okay i'm not saying that they uh, were no, no once yeah. once let yeah. me finish sorry sorry go ahead at that point of time uh, india uh, was invaded by the muslim lead, leaders and the emperors yeah. okay so that is why from the sixth guru yeah. till guru gobind singh ji they rose up and they fought against oppression okay it, it was not it is not it was no, islam I, I so, do, so, do, so, do, so they so, accept, so, so so they saying, fought I'm, against look, oppression yeah sorry sir i'm if not it, saying that just no, to be clear i'm not it, saying that you guys no, are against no, islam if, no no if it was against at that point of time yeah. people who believed in christianity yeah. and were were ruling the uh, you know country and doing something which was against not, the thing i'm not saying so, that look my question is not this yeah, yeah. my question is as follows my question is there's so much similarity yeah. first of all like, if you look at the gds which is the holy book you'll find that there's literally hundreds of mentions yes, of, of the yes, of of, of, what, allah. of allah of allah of ram of allah of ram of, of, of krishna yes. uh, of uh, yes. vishnu sorry that of krishna I'm, that is what i'm saying so it seems too much like an amalgamation like what yes. what sikhism yes. is eventually is a combination of islam and and uh, and hinduism no no see what i'm saying is that religion is absolutely uh, that is what our guru uh, preached that you know that the rituals like like suppose you have to follow the follow the religion you don't have to go to the mountains to meditate you can no i no that's what i said yeah and, and meditate so our gurus were against the rituals no, and were, i know okay i accept that yeah. but i i believe you right yeah. but i just want to say one thing right yeah. that so for example muslims believe in heaven and hell right and hindus believe in reincarnation sikhism incorporates both into its tradition so it believes in the idea of june which means reincarnation and it says that god is ajun which is he's outside of the scope of reincarnation but it also believes in the idea of taking yourself out of june which means you can come out of reincarnation and now become someone who is in a, in a spiritual place bad bad is like janna so they've taken janna which is a concept of uh, basically heaven and that, that's an islamic concept and they've taken reincarnation which is a hindu concept and they've combined them together to create a new religion now my question is it can't be coincidentally true that all of what prophet muhammad came with or some of it or a, a large proportion of it was true and all of what the vedas came with was true but then at the same time prophet muhammad was telling a lie and he wasn't from god so it doesn't actually add up at all do you see what i mean well, i think what would make more sense you could probably tell me if i'm right or wrong here doesn't it make more sense to say look in fact we should just say since the gds already confirms you know that um prophet muhammad came with a lot of truths through its admission through its saying that you know through its for example affirmation and reconfirmation of all of the rituals that muslims do and the attributes of god as you have them as very similar to the attributes of god as muslims have them wouldn't it just be simply say, easy to say look since that's true then we should just accept islam as the as the authority and and the prophet muhammad is the final messenger since he came with all of those truths no, no, it not, must be from no, god no, then that is not the uh, this thing in fact uh, guru nanak dev ji if you know how travel to mecca also yeah i know that and 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 uh, he went to the know, ganges he went yes, to mecca yeah right, to yes. mecca and gave a message there also yes. so wherever he went he gave a message he went to iran uh, he, he went iran, to iran he yeah. went to he gave a message he gave a message that all well? you know i'm muslim oh, so so you know so you know uh, the thing is that you hear this we are not there is no comparison between a, 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 a islam or a christianity or sikhism you know when when the religions become very complicated you know and because religion is i, I believe religion is a, a very simple thing which you follow Do you know okay. what i find really without, nice without, 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 let me sorry. let me complete i'm sorry i okay. apologize so you know when uh, when when you follow a religion it has to be very simple yes. and you know since sikh is sikhism is a very modern religion because yes. it's not very old okay so whatever was 
people who were Muslims or who were Christians or who were Hindus who thought that yes, religion has to be simple. We have to boycott all the rituals which are there in the religion came forward and yes. followed Sikhism. Uh -huh. And the, our our 10th guru uh -huh. gave an identity to the people. Uh -huh. Like you have to... Which have is similar case, to what we do. Yeah, the case and this thing. So that, you know, there are two things. Well, can I ask you a question? You know, yeah, there are two. It's not mandatory that we need to wear a skull yeah. cap. But for yeah. them, yeah, it, it's mandatory. Mandatory, mandatory because well, where did identity. they get the idea of a no, hat the coming on the head of a human No, I, I know a lot of Muslims. And where did they get the idea of Yes, I, I know a lot of Muslim but, friends uh, yeah. uh, who don't have beards. That's right. Like or, or there's, there's, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no identity. Yeah. It's not compulsory. But yeah. our, our religion, it is... According to the majority of scholars, but it's actually okay. You know, I'm not gonna read read <laughs> I have read namaz. <laughs> okay, so, so maybe the length is so, the length is a different who, who opinion. So, so my point is that they gave an identity for a yeah. lot of a lot lot of reason. Now we wear a kara. Yeah. Now a lot of people don't know why we wear a kara. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so yeah. my point. I was finishing about the kara. Now we wear the kara. Now there are a lot of people don't know how why because it is one on the right hand. The right hand, not the left. Okay, hand. not on the left hand because generally people. Do everything with the right hand. The good stuff. They do with the yeah. Right hand. That's so, Islam, so, 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 you know, this, this, this was a thing given by the guru, so that when you are doing any bad deed, yes. and you see the kara, you'll remember the, uh, you know, guru, and you, you will say that at least, you know, right. you will give a second thought. We believe in the same thing. So, so my point is every. The right hand. Is, you uh, do good stuff with the right. We, be, we believe in the same thing. But you know what I really like about the GGS? Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you why. Why I like it, and we'll end with this because I need to go home. Because we've got Tarawih today, yeah. which is like the prayer. Yeah, yeah. I know Tarawih. You know that? Yes, yes, I know. Yes, yes, yes. I know, uh, what I was gonna say, I know. Do you know the Guru said something which is true? Let me tell you what this thing... He said lots of things which are true actually, but this one thing I found really particularly interesting and true. He said that if a Muslim does good deeds, he actually built a mosque for the Muslim. Is, is yes, right? absolutely. He said if a Muslim... And, and uh, you know, in, 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 uh, in a... In a in, in, uh, Guru Nanak. Yeah, Nanak himself. No, he didn't build mosques. Did? Yes, did. yes, yes, Where? absolutely. In Punjab, in Punjab, in Pakistan. Yes, and uh, the thing is that you, uh, you are from here, UK. Yeah, yeah, sir. Right. When recently, uh, recently there there was a lot of problems in UK, and uh, all the masjids, when the prayer was happening, the Sikh uh, gentlemen, uh, you know, uh, were guarding the mosque. Yes. This only shows. That you know, like no, I we, we, nice. we 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 uh, we no, we we respect to make a all point. religion. I do accept. No, our gurus respect all, all religion, religion yes. but they are against. We are rituals. against the rituals. Okay. Which are I wanted to make a point, which is yeah. that the guru came with the truth, which is, he said that if the Muslim does good deeds, yes, and he's a good Muslim and, and follows praise, the Quran, pray yeah, praise the way that time. pray five times the way a Muslim should, then he'll go to Jannah. Yes, absolutely. Thank yes, you very much. Absolutely. I think then in that case, we should all do that. And I think this has been a very fantastic, so <laughs> interesting discussion. Yeah, and very positive. And Thank you. I'm very positive. Like, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Because we Can you show them your knife? Okay, it's very interesting. Can you? <laughs> this is going to be good for that. Come on, yeah. show, show them the thing. You got. Look at this, man. I wish I could carry this, you know. Oh, my God, bro. Look. you got to be careful, brother. Hoppa. Hops. <laughs> That's gonna be. Can you can we take a picture like that? Actually? The five case. <laughs> I'm checking. It's cool.